Hello, in today's video we're going to talk about how to recover when it all goes wrong, when cinema locks up or crashes, uh, and then we're going to have a quick chat about how to actually avoid this stuff in the first place. So what we're talking about is when the software, it goes a bit wrong. You've, you've entered some silly settings, you know, maybe you're using a bit of MoGraph with a cloner and you've thrown some geometry inside, and you thought you were going to set this thing to make maybe 30 or 300 copies, but you've accidentally leaned on the keyboard a bit too much and it's suddenly going to try and make 300,000. Whilst this probably won't crash the software as such, it will certainly make it incredibly unresponsive and you may have to wait 5, 10, 20 minutes for it to actually sort of wake up from what you've done. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you how to ideally recover when this sort of situation has happened. Now, the most ideal thing you can do is just press escape on your keyboard. Cinema is going to be trying to process all 300,000 copies of this object. And whilst it's sat there and you think, oh no, it's locked up, it's gone, it's crashed. Just press escape, press it once and then do absolutely nothing else. That's the key thing. Don't sit there clicking the mouse a few times, hitting a few keys on the keyboard, don't keep there sitting there smashing the escape key. Basically, every time you click, every button you press, you have queued up something else to happen. So if it takes maybe three or four minutes to wake up, when you've smashed four or five keys on your keyboard, it's now going to take about 20 minutes to, to wake up. So just literally hit escape once and go get a cup of tea. Hopefully when you're back, cinema will have stopped trying to do what it's trying to do, and your best bet at this point is find the thing which caused the issue, so in this case, my cloner. Let me just remove these zeros here so I don't actually lock my machine up during recording. Uh, but the best thing to do, once it's woken up, turn off the offending object. Click that little plus uh, checkbox, sorry, right, right next to the name, and disable it. You can now safely go in, adjust the setting back to something sensible and turn the object back on again. Okay, so that's your best bet for sort of quickly recovering. But um, what if that's not helping? What if it's gone even more wrong than this and the software is just doing absolutely nothing? Or you're thinking, well, I've been waiting five minutes, 10 minutes, I can't wait this long, I need to get on with the job. Your next best bet, uh, weirdly, is to crash the software on purpose. Now, Cinema has some background routines which try to salvage your project if the worst ever happens. So when Cinema crashes, if that ever even does happen to you, uh, it tries to save the project. So what we can do is we can force Cinema to crash on purpose to trigger the file saving routine, and then hopefully we can just recover that file after we relaunch the software. So let's say I've worked on this lovely scene here. And for whatever reason, I've locked the software up and it's just not waking up. There's a secret key combination you can press. On Windows, hold down both shift keys on your keyboard and press delete. Now keep in mind, that is the delete key, not backspace. So shift, shift, delete. On the Mac, it's slightly different. Uh, Mac users, hold down all three buttons on the bottom left hand corner, control, alt, command, and then press backspace. Okay, so when you do this, Cinema should pop up a little window saying, do you really want to do this? Do you really want to force quit the software? All data will be lost. No, it won't, it's gonna save it. Um, okay, so it's gonna try and save the projects. Yes. Okay, so there we go, Cinema's crashed. And there we go, the software's dead. So when I relaunch the software, doo -doo 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 -doo, here's a splash screen, load, load, load. It'll say, hey, do you wanna, do you wanna report the bug? Uh, don't report the bug. There wasn't really a bug. You just kind of killed the software yourself. So let's not send the report. Don't send it. What we do now, jump up into your preferences. And within this window, there is a button on the bottom left-hand corner. This opens up the location where your preferences are saved. Now it's not that we really want to change any preferences, but when you hit this button, boop, oh, there you go, you will get something like this. Uh, this is where your preferences are stored, your team render um, machines, your library of objects, but you'll also find there is a bug reports folder. Have a look inside. This is what normally gets sent off to Maxon when you crash the software and you submit a bug report. But the key thing is, 
it includes your scene file. So this recovery scene, get this out of the way, oops, come back. You can load this into cinema and hopefully everything you were working on will reappear and all your files which you thought were gone, you thought were lost, are actually there. So this does also work if the software does actually just genuinely crash. So if you kill the software, you you can actually just uh, salvage it this way. Uh, and I've just noticed that I've left my window off to the side from when I killed the software. That wasn't a good idea, was it? Pardon my white desktop. Um, anyway, so those are your sort of two uh, recovery options. Um, there are things you can do though to stop this from happening in the first place. And you know, these are preferable, these are better choices if you can. Um, one of the best methods, the one I'd suggest you do the most, would be incremental saving. So when you're working on a file, one of the worst things you can do is to just keep saving over the same file again and again and again. Because if you've been working on this file for days or weeks and something happens to it, well, you know what? You've just put all that data into one file. You've, you've almost literally put all your eggs in one basket. What you should be doing, so let's, let's say I save this file onto my desktop and I'll just call it uh, guy1. The number's important, by the way, because what Cinema's gonna do is it's gonna change this number for us. So let's say I've got this guy number one file. Rather than just saving another file, I can say save incremental. So you can see up here, I've got guy number one. When I choose save incremental, this is now gonna give me guy number two. And if I have a look at my desktop, here we go. I've got guy one, guy two, and every time I save incremental, it'll give me another file. Um, so this is what I will tend to do myself, either when I get to a certain checkpoint where I think, oh, maybe I've gotta go back, or if I'm gonna do an action where I think, oh, this is a bit risky, I'm gonna suddenly add 100,000 objects, this is the kind of thing which I think is gonna kill the software. I'll do a save incremental so I can recover and get back to where I was. Um, or sometimes I just sort of do it every one or two hours just so that I have sort of these uh, check markers. Remember, you can always jump into this folder and just delete off all the old files when you don't need them anymore. So there you go, there's, there's one of your choices. Um, but there's a couple of things you can potentially do. Um, one of them is autosave. So if you have a look in your preferences, what we have in here is, let's see, if we go down to files. So one of your options is autosave. You can tell the software just literally, every five minutes, save, save a file. Give me a few backups. Um, so all you've got to do is basically nothing. Just turn the feature on and say, look, after this amount of time, save, and sort of keep maybe 10 copies. So it's not going to keep overwriting the same file, otherwise you're back to the same first original problem we had. Don't keep overwriting the same file. Um, but it'll, it'll keep a few backups and it'll just overwrite them as it needs to. A bit like a, a dash cam in a car, I guess. Um, and your last choice, the last option, so let's just turn this one off, is backup copies. So let me just delete those files I had on my desktop. Let's get rid of that. Folder, do, 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 desktop, okay. So let's say I've got file, what are we on? So we're on number three, okay. So let's pop that to the side for a minute. If I say make, let's say three backup copies, normally this is set down at zero. But if I say go for three backups, Every time I hit save, actually I can probably do this with my content browser. Let's see, do do do, computers, users, me, do, 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 desktop. Okay, so there's our guy number three. Every time I hit save, there's guy number three, that's what I'm working on, and it will give me a backup. So every time I hit save, do, 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 save, backup number two, save, back at number three. But now I've hit my limit. I've hit my three backup limit. So if I hit save one more time, it sort of cycles through. And you know, sort of this is now the latest one, three became two, two became one, and one got thrown off the end of the list. So you'll just always keep a few backups. Now this is a little bit kind of, I don't know, it's a bit messy because you're getting these back files and 
If you're searching for a C4D file, it's not going to find it because it's got the wrong extension. So this is sort of the last of my choices that I'd ever recommend. Um, but hopefully that's uh, that's going to save you some hassle at some point. So there we go. Use save incremental as the best choice. Maybe auto save if you're just sort of forever losing files. Although do watch out if you do have a big file auto saving every few minutes if you're sort of trying to do something important and then the auto save kicks in the software might lock up for a few seconds whilst it does the saving so working over a network is especially bad if you're going to use that feature but yeah it's there it works and hey you have now been warned but uh, yeah there we go do make use of this um, open preferences folder because that is where you can find all of your bug reports which basically contain your crashed files okay hopefully this will save you some data in the future then so uh this is once again been Mash from 3D Fluff. Uh, all the best.